excuse me. This is Faye Emerson for Pepsi Cola. I'll be with you in a minute. Pepsi Cola hits the spot. Big, big bottle, and it's got thousands, 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 thousands. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. Now go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. More bounce to the ounce, more bounce to the ounce. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. And buy a big less when Pepsi's there. More bounce to the ounce and Pepsi. I guess Skitch is just going to have to start me on something easier. I just can't do this. Try my best. You know, I got a letter I want to read you. A letter from Mr. Myers. Mr. Myers says, Dear Miss Emerson, seeing your silent film on the show you had about Cyrano de Bergerac prompted me to write to you. We've been taking home movies at our house for many years. My wife, who is quite a pianist, has written a score, and when we get the family together to show our home mo movie, she plays her piano as background music. The effect is really wonderful. And it's too bad that piano accompaniment to movies is a dead art. We, well, he goes on to say some other things, but that's the part I thought you'd be interested in, because I want to tell you, Mr. Myers, that uh, I agree with you about it being a dead art, only it isn't quite dead. There is a gentleman right here in New York City who makes a very good living, as a matter of fact, by playing accompaniment to silent movies. That's at the Old Nick Music Hall on 2nd Avenue. Have you ever been there? It's a wonderful place. At any rate, his name is Mr. Curly Green, and he's with us. Come on in, Curly. When you see him, I think you'll know why we call him Curly. Hello, Curly. <laughs> How are you? Very fine, thank you. Fancy too. <laughs> Curly, uh, is, this is a rather unusual occupation these days. I think the people would like to hear something about it. Excuse me, I want to put this down. I think get a better picture, huh? Curly, um, tell me, how long have you been playing accompaniment oh, for silent pictures? Pretty near 45 years. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Sure, around 1906 and 1907, we were had the first moving picture show going up Long Island. We used really? to play the blacksmith shops. Blacksmith shops? Blacksmith <laughs> move the cattle out and start playing and put them on the old tanks and schoolhouses and things of that sort. But what did you do? Just sort of make it improvise, up as you went along? Improvise, improvise the little music, and then afterwards we had scores written. Real scores written, written uh-huh. For the features. Well, let's, let's have a little sort of sample of that. For instance, what would you, um, what would you play for the chase sequence? You know, there always had to be a chase. <laughs> even have to have a mark like I did. I must admit that we had to actually put the numbers on here so I could play that Pepsi Cola jingle for you. This is a real bright girl. Well, what would you play, for instance, for pathos? Oh, yes. This is one where the little baby is very ill and the mother is hovering over, right? How about one of those Valentino love scenes, huh? Maybe not exactly Valentino. That would be a boy and girl love scene, wouldn't it? <laughs> but how about one of those suspense things? to do. I have a, a silent movie of my own I'd like to show tonight and, and would you play the uh, accompaniment for me? Would you do the score underneath? Right. We got a real silent movie for you. You ready, Curly? All ready to go. All right then. Let's have the overture.
was our version <laughs> of a silent picture. I bet you never saw me quiet for so long. I hope you're grateful for it. Buster, you're wonderful. You want one? <laughs> no, thank you. By the way, though, those really were carrots. Just in case any little small child thinks we've eaten a goldfish, we haven't. They're there, just as pretty and healthy. But he did fool me. Buster? Uh, Buster is, uh, I'm so delighted to have him on my show, and, and I want to tell you why, because to me, this is one of the great geniuses of our, of our theater, our silent pictures and uh, regular motion pictures, but I think he reached his really great genius in the silent pictures when everything happened in his face, or rather, really nothing happened in his face. Isn't that right? That's right. I mean, uh, you've done lots of, of, of sound pictures since then, but when I first saw you, I shall never forget it. And Buster, I do hope that you're going to take this talent with you into television. You're coming into television, aren't you? That's right. Wonderful. You're going to leap into it real flat-footed. That is I not... didn't do so well with the opening gag. <laughs> but your hat fell off, and I put it on. Did you know that? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and I put it on twice. But this is television. Anything can happen in television, and his hat fell off. Now, we rehearsed this once before, and the hat did not fall off, so I hope you forgive us. You got the idea anyway. Want me to do it again? <laughs> no, no. Oh, I got hysterical. <laughs> Listen, Buster. Uh, are you going to talk in television? No, you're really going to talk, Oh, aren't you? sure. I talk when it's necessary. I sing, too. You sing? I didn't know you sang. Yeah, I come up here today with, with, with my wardrobe and things to sing you a special ballad. You're going to sing for me? That's right. How wonderful. I'd love to hear it. What are you going to sing? Well, I'll show you. What are you going to do? I'm going to be here. the audience? Here. Man sets the stage, too. You set, got your card? You, you sit right down there. <laughs> Thank you. This... this there's an old song, this is, uh -huh. and it's in two parts, a first and second verse. Uh -huh. See, I leave the stage at the end of the first verse, but I come right back, so oh, don't do. go away. Yeah. It's a costume change. You know? Yeah, costume oh, change. Oh, all right, fine. I'll be right here. Yeah. It's called The Letters. It's people writing letters to each other. Mm -hmm. it is. The Letters of Charlie Brooks and Nellie Dare. I can't wait. I'll hurry. <laughs> now, don't go away. He'll be right back. Isn't it wonderful seeing you? Just wonderful. That's it. Have a Pepsi or something. You'll be right here. Aha! <clears throat> Miss Dare, since leaving the city, I find I changed my mind. I hope you don't think me too fickle or think me the least unkind. For I find we've been mistaken that you would never suit me. I find in my heart as another, and I hope, my dear friend, you'll agree. Please send me the ring that I gave you and all my letters and books from now on, we must be strangers. Respectfully, yours, Charlie Brooks. Now, isn't this one of the saddest things you ever heard? Would you suspect that Buster Keaton had this talent for singing? There's more to come. Just wait. Don't go away. <laughs> I don't laugh. I'm sorry. I know it's very serious. I'm terribly sorry. I got your letter, dear Charlie, the one you wrote to me. I've read it all over and over. And of course, my dear friend, I'll agree. For I want you to be happy with that fair young heiress, Miss Gray. I heard all about it, dear Charlie, and knew it would end in this way. And here is your ring, Charlie, darling. It was very dear to me. I still can recall when you gave it and those vows that you made to me. And now I will tell you goodbye, dear. I hope you think I've been fair. Remember, I'm always and always as ever your friend Nellie Dare. I never know. Isn't that one of the saddest things you've ever seen? Well, if you can wipe a tear from your eye for a moment, <laughs> we'll go back and talk to Buster. <laughs> Buster, I, wonderful. I recite, um, too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, I, I thought this was wonderful. I think you ought to sing. Now, this is your forte. You like that? Yes, I like that. <laughs> I like you, anyway. This is one of our real greats. And, Buster, I do hope that, that you will come and do another, another scene for us sometime. We'll do a, another silent movie. We'll plant that hat on your head with glue. All right. Listen, Buster, come on and let's sit down for a minute. We got lots of time. Excuse us, we're going to go and sit down for a minute and talk some more. All right, we'll sit right here. That's my boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get tickled to death. This man can do anything, and I think he's funny. Uh, you know, Curly Green, who you saw earlier in the show. Oh, by the way, Curly, thanks very much for coming and playing for us. Curly Green must have played for many of your great pictures, which uh, uh, I'm so pleased. And you know, my son is watching today. And I said to him, you know, Buster Keaton's going to be on my show. And, of course, he's just a little kid, you know. And he said, Buster Keaton? And I was outraged that he didn't know. So that's why I want you on television. I want people to see 
what you used to do. Do the same wonderful things. Don't, don't do too much new. Let us see the wonderful things we always used to say, because they were great. Thank you very much for coming, Buster. And thank you, Curly Green. I had a lot of fun playing at it. You know, we've heard a new song. Now we're going to hear a song that is not the least bit old hat, if you know what I mean. Pepsi Cola hits the spot. Big, big bottle, then it's got. Bounce, 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 bounce. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More bounce to the ounce for all the gang. Cause Pepsi's a bubble with that wake up tang. Where the fun's a sore and that's where Pepsi's born. So much more fun, so much more zest. Why take less when Pepsi's best? Friendly, sparkling Pepsi. Ice cold and waiting. And always a big, big bottle. Get Pepsi. Get more for your money. Pick up several cartons tomorrow. I don't want to be seen to be putting on the dog, but this beautiful fur piece is just to tell you that our next show is going to be about furs and furbelows, starring that wonderful comedian, Alice Pierce. Good night. <laughs> Pepsi-Cola will bring you Faye Emerson again on Tuesday night at this same time. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.